My name is Rachel Stiff. I was born and raised in central Montana. I later went to grad school in Tucson, Arizona, lived in LA for a bit, and now call Las Vegas my home. The show is called Framing the West. I am a true Westerner. I'm always looking for the beauty and the construction that we do out in the West. And so as I'm traveling around the city, I'm always sort of looking for beauty framed up by the city and how those two interact with each other. I find beauty in the way, um, of course, the atmosphere of Las Vegas, the dust caught in the air and that all sort of enveloping the city. Um, but I also find it very interesting how I live out by a gravel pit and I like to observe how we take the land, break it up, make space to fill space and that then sort of shapes the city. This series is called Gravel Pit because there's a gravel pit behind my house. I walk out there to, to kind of look at that and see the desert, but also from there I can see the city uh, really, really well, the strip and everything. So behind me is the construction that no one sees, and below me is the city with all of its, um, all of its activity. The, the paintings are much more uh, cerebral for me. They're much more intellectual and about decision making. Uh, they're just as much about the, the city and the desert and myself, but each move has so much, there are bigger consequences. It's pain, it's big canvases, it's a lot of time. So physically, they're much more grandiose. The drawings are much more meditative and I can let my brain go on default mode. And so they're more like um, poetry or quicker free writes in, in drawing. It's, it's called um, Goner Times 2. And it is so much about the, the layers that we have here in Las Vegas and the colors and also the, fa the facades that we see around the city. Um, so the layers are very sort of flat, but they still create space. In Las Vegas, there's so much atmospheric space to observe, and traveling through the city can be a really beautiful experience if you're looking to frame that up. The fringe frames, I call them fringe frames, are sort of this investigation of how the canvas could venture off of its structure, how it could be a little bit more object-like, but it is also a way to frame, frame the pieces and kind of question beauty. Usually when you think of a gold frame, you're thinking something classical. So I am sort of touching back or acknowledging the history of painting, but I'm also acknowledging our current way of uh, decorating, maybe buildings. You see that a lot downtown and in older buildings, you'll, you'll have a, a facade on the outside that sort of frames it up for, for you from the outside. So that's what the fringe frames are intended to do for the paintings. Well, for this one, Gravel Pit number three has, um, for me, it talks about this motion that happens across the landscape. Whether it's in town or out of town, there's this sort of tractor-like or sagebrush um, quality to it where there's a lot of mechanical motion, but it's also very organic, and so I, I think it takes on its own character. And we talked before about the fact that I have, I'm not a figurative painter or artist at this time, but this one really does take on a character that sort of has a body and a personality to it. Framing the West will be up from May till June 24th. It's my exploration into how I see and live and exist in both the desert and Las Vegas, its relationship and my relationship to it. Um, I mentioned in my artist statement that while I'm driving around and where I live, the light, color, and the way I frame up the desert is different and I'm always looking for ways to relate to my surroundings and this show is, is a representation of that. Thank you.